Last month's gangling aspiration video seemed to go down quite well, so here's another. Apologies for the operator error on my part, having zoomed in far too far with the camera phone, so you don't really get to see all the goop coming out. So yeah, my apologies for that. I'll try harder next time. Black yeah, well, my wife likes ironing. She's quite a large lady, my wife. So every time she irons a knicker, she does a sponsored walk. Well, I've had my wife sending me on stone. Don't, don't tell her. Right, so, Alan, you've got this quite impressive bursa. So we've just yeah. cleaned the skin. So we're going to use uh, green, 21 gauge needle. Just make sure that's all nice and painted. We're going to see if we can get any juice off this at all. Right, scratch, Alan. Three, two, one. Don't pull a face. Let's see what we can get off this. Ooh, the answer is quite a bit. Let's try and put a bit more suction on that. Gonna come out, Alan. You're gonna hear a little pop. Okay, so I'm just gonna just gonna come in from another angle. A wee scratch again. Three, two, one. Scratch. Sorry, my fat hands are in the way, viewers. No, it's alright. It's the needles I don't like. But that's the best bit, Alan. <laughs> okay, so that's really quite juicy now. I've been having a little run on injections lately, Alan. So there's quite a bit of blood in that. That that can be from the needle, yeah. or it can be that there's a bit of bleeding within it. It's actually quite fluidy. Sometimes they're really quite goopy. Yeah. And they're, they're a bit like wallpaper paste. So that's quite quite a lot of blood in there. So that's either, as I say, from blood, because there was blood within the bursa or ganglion, or, or it could be from the needle. Now, what I'd like to do is then just do a little bit of... Sorry, that's the last one. Just do a little bit of peppering of the lesion and that sometimes encourages them just to fall away. Now I'm going to get rid of the needle. It's going to go off to one side and then I'm just going to see if I can get any of the last juice out. Yeah, so actually quite a lot of blood, Alan. I'm not sure if that was me or if that was it was bruised in. I'll take the blame. No, I reckon, I think what's happened a lot of it is I play a lot of golf and I bought some new golf shoes and they were a little bit on the tight side. Uh huh. So I reckon that might have done it. And have you been playing golf recently? Is that, is that... No, no, I haven't played since November. Okay, well, it's not the golf shoes then. Well, I'm, I'm saying what I'm talking about is why there's so much blood in the lesion. I'm not sure whether it was bruised in there or whether that was me from the needle, but I'm going to take the blame because it's always nice to have somebody to blame other than you. So I'm just getting, so most of that juice is gone. Now what we're left with is the sack. Yeah. Now in truth, they will often refill. So we're gonna see you back and see what happens to that. If it refills and it can, carries on being a nuisance, we probably will discuss surgery to remove the sack, yeah. but while that sack's still there, I can feel now that they, the swelling has gone, I can feel the bony bumping from the, the bunion. Yeah. So removing the sack is fine, but if we don't deal with the cause, It'll keep coming back, you got it. Yeah. Now, there you go, no creases at all. If my old teacher, Miss Bromilo from Salford, could see that dressing with, with creases on, she'd be turning in a grave. Okay, I think you're going to need a bit more on that. Right, well, I'm going to stop the video there. Let's just check you're still in shot after a fashion.